Hey guys, it's Rushji here, how you're doing? I'm back with a very short and sweet tutorial. This one is off the back of the one I did before about like confirms. So I did like a very brief tutorial on how to build the muscle memory and practice your like confirms into special. So I'll put a, a link in the video description to that video if you want to see that. This is like the next stage from that. So those of you that have been following me for a while now know that I have a one of my worst input errors with Ken. I mean, Ken pretty much is a very low execution character. His combos are very easy. It's one of the reasons why I went for him early on. Um, but one thing I always screw up is the crouch and like kick, stand like kick. So I get like that instead of instead of that. So two crouch and like kicks instead of crouch and like stand like. The reason for that is is because say if I want crouch and like kick, stand like kick, say medium kick tatsu. If you look at the inputs. I'm gonna go for down light kick and then I'm gonna go for stand light kick and then I'm gonna press down and then quarter circle back for tatsu. But the problem there is if you look at, if you look at the inputs, the stand light kick and then me pressing down for the tatsu, if I overlap those inputs, it's like this. Can you see there? I've got down light kick, I've got another down light kick and then the tatsu. You can't cancel crouch and light kick into anything, I don't believe. Um, that's the problem I have. So that's the history. So let's talk about the tutorial now and how I'm gonna help you get around that. So I did touch on it in the previous video. And the tip is, is when you do the stand light kick, press a direction. So if you wanna get crouch and light kick, stand light kick DP, the input would be down light kick, forward light kick, quarter circle forward, heavy punch. Now obviously in doing it slowly, you don't get the combo. But if you look at the inputs very carefully there, Crouch and light kick, forward light kick, quarter circle forward, and then heavy punch. What happens there is, because of buffering, the forward light kick and then the quarter circle forward punch, you get the stand light kick because you're pressing forward and light kick, but you press forward, then you got the quarter circle forward. That's, um, that pretty much covers the DP. Then when you press heavy punch, you'll get a dragon punch. In quick succession, if I do that now, it's exactly what I just said. Down light kick, forward light kick, and you can see there it's not perfect the input, but I did a pretty much a quarter circle forward heavy punch. I got the DP. That's how you do it if you want to get a DP. But if you want Tatsu, what I found is is uh, you can do crouching light kick, forward light kick, and from the forward position to just do a half a circle back, and then whatever Tatsu you want. Now it's the same scenario there, if I do it quickly, let's get the inputs right, so you can see there, look at the inputs, crouch and light kick, forward light kick, and I've rolled the d-pad back to, to, to backwards, and then hit medium kick, which has got the tatsu, that avoids you getting that scenario, because you press the forward input when you press the light kick, ensures you're standing, you can't press down, well you, well, you can press down, I guess it's possible, but it's unlikely you're going to press down or anywhere down on the D-pad when you're pressing forward light kick. So you're always going to get the stand light kick. As long as your inputs are clean, your half circle back will cancel into the tattoo. See, it works pretty much every time, as long as you get, your, get it down in your muscle memory. If you want fireball, so if you want crouch and light kick, stand light kick, fireball, I usually use EX fireball, it's a V-trigger. So this combo. Maybe I add the V trigger. If you want that, it's the same method, but you just do back light kick. It's a crouching light kick, back light kick. You do a half circle forward into your fireball button. So look at the inputs, crouching light kick, back light kick, half circle forward. And I'm pressing all three punches to get the EX fireball. And then to add your V trigger. Bob is your uncle. Simple as that. Now, that's something I'm trying to add to my game and I haven't done it as of yet. I haven't got it in my muscle memory. So what will happen sometimes is I want the X fireball, but I'll do something like crouching like kick, forward light kick. And then I'm like, okay, that's the wrong way. I should have done back light kick. It messes the fireball up. But I think this is a good training exercise for anybody that wants to clean up on that. If that's an issue in your game, this is a golden tip for you to use. So, um, 
give it a try, give it a whirl, try and build that muscle memory up first and then take it into matches. Do not take this tech into rank straight away because you will mess up your inputs because you'll, you won't be ready to do the sequences depending on what you want. So give it a whirl, see what you think. And if it's a load of crap, let me know. But uh, I think it will be useful for most people if you have that problem. So that's about it, guys. Hope that's helped. I shall catch you later on. Take care.